Hi there, this is uh, Srikanth Sari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, so how to uh, create a node and uh, add that node at the very beginning of the linked list. Okay. So in the last lesson, we have uh, uh, created how to uh, uh, we have learned how to create a single linked list and uh, display the linked list. Okay. So let me launch the ID. So already I have uh, created a project under the name uh, uh, single link list 2 and it consists nothing but a single uh, C file which is uh, added beginning.c. Okay. So for our uh, convenience I have uh, already placed some code. Uh, let me go to the uh, full screen here. So the code is nothing but uh, in the main section it has uh, a menu, uh, a menu uh, which uh, the very first option has uh, add the beginning. And the second one is display the link list, and the third one is exit. And in the respective cases, uh, so I ha I haven't added any code for the, the case mm -hmm. one here. So in the case two, we have a display a method, a display function. Sorry. So display function just displays the contents of the link list, okay, which is very uh, straightforward. And uh, apart from that, we have a node, which is very essential a structure for our uh, node here, okay. So let me uh, put a small comment. Structure for node. Structure for node. Okay. So now uh, we need to add a function uh, which does the task of uh, adding a node at the very beginning of the linked list. Okay. So at the every time you run, you select this option. Uh, let me run the program. So at the every time uh, you, you take this uh, option one here, uh, you should be able to add a, a create a node and add that node at the very beginning of the Link list okay. So if you say uh, option two, uh, it should display uh, 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 the contents of the list here, okay. And if you take uh, x3 as exit, it's very uh, quite obvious, okay, for us. So next, let us uh, write the function for that uh, task here, okay. So uh, let me write the function uh, just above the display or just below the display also here. So let's name the function as uh, add it, uh, big, add it beginning. Which signifies that added the adding a node at the beginning of the link list here. Okay, so let us make some room for ourselves here. Okay, so first, uh, so let's take a node, a node, uh, let's say new node, uh, it says it's a pointer, uh, it consists of a, a node, new node. Okay. So next, we need to allocate uh, uh, memory such that uh, we will be able to uh, create that node actually in the memory. So we should say something like this as we are very familiar with uh, the syntax of malloc. So node star malloc malloc size of struct new node. Struct node, sorry, again, struct new is not required here, okay. Struct node, okay. So, in this way, uh, we are able to uh, create a node uh, and reserve some uh, space in the memory for that node. So, as we have, uh, as we know that uh, the node structure consists of two different, uh, mainly two different parts. So, one is uh, the node, uh, one is uh, the data part, and another one is the uh, address part of the next part, which consists the address of the next node in the Linked list. Okay, so now, uh, so let us say something like this: as we have uh, created a new node, let's say let's put the empty. Uh, so the next part, let's put some uh, null content here. Okay, such that the node does not point uh, to any other uh, uh, garbage value, or uh, let's clear the uh, address part of the node by putting it uh, some null uh, pointer, so such that, uh, that the node is blank here. Okay, so now. Uh, Let's uh, grab some data uh, into that uh, data part. So slash and slash t. So let's say enter a data item. So enter a data item. So scanf percentage t and percent new node of data. So new node of uh, data. Okay. So, I'm going to say new node of uh, data. So, next, what we are going to do is uh, so, first at the very beginning uh, in the main uh, function, we have uh, allocated the head to null. Okay. 
So if, uh, the very first time you run the program, uh, our head node, uh, which is a, a pointer, which points to the very first node of the link list, which, or the head node, the head pointer can be thought of as a, a pointer, which consists the address of the very first node of the link list. Okay. So if it is the case, so first we have to we have to check that. If still the head is null. That means that uh, there is no, uh, no there are no nodes in the uh, link list uh, such that uh, the, whatever the node we are creating, uh, the very first node would always become would always become the the head node. Okay. So to, in order to check that, let's say something less. If head is equal to null, so head is equal to null. So we need to say something like this. So new node or head is equal to so head is equal to new node. Okay. So in the head uh, part uh, we are storing the address of the new node. Okay. So which said which means that the head uh, the new node becomes ultimately the head. Okay. So let's say return one as we need to immediately come out of the uh, condition here. So in the else part, uh, so what we are going to do is so head next, so head next or uh, so in the else part, uh, we need to say something like this. So head, uh, sorry, sorry. So new node uh, next is equal to, so the next part of the new node, uh, we need to add the address of the, so we need to uh, put the address of the, whatever the head element uh, already we have uh, discussed that head always consists the address of the, so first one, okay. So we need to put that address in the next part of the, new node such that, uh, that there there will be a link established between the new node uh, ultimately the new node sits, sits at the very beginning of the whatever the link list uh, nodes we have already okay so now our new node uh, should be the head here okay so head is equal to once again we need to uh, write this code so head is equal to new so okay so ultimately the uh, new node uh, once again becomes uh, uh, the head here okay Yes, we are uh, done with our uh, coding here. Okay, so we are uh, done with our uh, coding of uh, function at the beginning here. Okay, so now what we are uh, what we have to do is uh, we need to call this uh, function uh, and our uh, case one here. Okay, so here the case one the handles the task of uh, adding a node at the very beginning of the link list. So we need to call that uh, method. So let's say add at back. Okay, so I'm just calling that uh, method here. Okay. So now let's uh, uh, run the program uh, and see the output, how it looks here, okay. So everything is fine, uh, I'm just taking the option one here, it asks us for uh, the data item uh, which we need to enter into the data part of the linked list, asking for the data item. So I'm just saying it as one. So now if you uh, check the display, uh, <laughs> there is a small mistake here, uh, it should be four here, okay, it's not three, uh, since, uh, okay. It's not until three. Okay, so I have uh, selected three here. Okay, so again I'm running the program. So I'm just saying one. Uh, to take the display, you have uh, display the the display uh, part, uh, the contents of the link uh, link list or the nodes or display here at the very beginning. So it's very uh, obvious that we need to uh, give some spacing in the display function here. Okay. So let's say a couple of uh, slash t's as well, and a couple of slash n's as well. Okay, one. So let's take display. Okay, so here you have. Okay, so you have one here. Uh, just a second. So confused. Okay, so I have just added a one uh, data item, uh, so I am just displaying it. So here you have uh, the data item as one here at the very top here, okay. So again, if you take uh, the one option here, say two, and if you take the display uh, option, so you get uh, two. Uh, there is a quite a huge space here. The display function is not good at all. So you need to have some message here. Contents of linked list. I'm just putting a 
So message to contest of make a list are okay. So now let's run the program. So add the beginning data item one. Again, let's add it the one more data item two. Let's keep on uh, adding the elements here. Let's say four, let's say five, no, no, let's select the display option. Okay. So here you have, uh, if you observe the output, uh, so as soon as you are entering the elements in the link list, uh, it always adds the node at the very beginning of the link list. Okay. So until now we have uh, entered five elements. So all the time the element uh, gets added at the very beginning of the link list. So, so if we add uh, one more element, let's say uh, 99, and if you check your uh, uh, display function here, so if you check the display function, so again it asks us, uh, it adds the element at the very beginning of the link list. Okay. So in this way, uh, let's come out of the output here. Okay. So in this way, uh, so our uh, add the beginning uh, function works here uh, with perspective of uh, uh, link list concept. So to summarize once again, so here we have uh, uh, written a small program. So the program consists of a structure first, which is very essential for. Uh, so first we have taken a, a structure here. Uh, so we have taken a node, uh, so head pointer, uh, which always consists of uh, the starting node of the very uh, starting node of the address of the starting node. So then we have uh, uh, written a couple of uh, functions, uh, one to display the contents of the node using a, a display function, which is very quite obvious uh, in all the linked list programs. And then this is the very key part in our program, uh, the add the beginning function. So the sole purpose of this function is to create a new node. Uh, so first we have taken a new node uh, pointer to a, a structure here, okay. So new node pointer and they are using the amalloc function. So we have uh, created uh, some space or created the node in the memory itself and then uh, we have uh, scanned the data and uh, stored the data in the data part of the node and then we have uh, checked whether the if our uh, if there are any node exists you know if there are any nodes exists in our link list so we can do that by uh, checking whether the head consists of any address or null part so if that the head pointer points to the null uh, null so then it says that uh, then it means that uh, so there are no nodes in the uh, link list. So our uh, whatever the node we have uh, created uh, using the MLOG function here. So we'll be acting as a head node here. Okay. So if that is not the case. Uh, so whatever the new node we have uh, created in that in that new node's address part, we need to store the address of the head pointer. Okay. So that's what we have done in the else part here. So the main is very obvious. Uh, we have taken a, a choice here. Okay. So you have taken a choice, we have uh, scanned the choice and, and depending upon the input the user is giving, whether one, two or three. So if it takes, the user takes the choice as one, then we need to add the node at the very beginning of the link list. So we are appropriately calling that uh, function here. And uh, the case two is to display the link list, contents of the link list. So that's what we have done uh, in the case two and the case three is very obvious to come out of the program, okay? So this is the basic stuff. If you run the program for once again, to keep on adding some items uh, so like this always the data item gets added at the very beginning if you take the display function we get the contents like this okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, adding an over at the very beginning of the link list so see you in the next lesson goodbye